Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video on HighBlock. In today's video, we'll be covering HighBlock's Net Position Heat Map tool. The Net Position Heat Map tracks traders' opening and closing positions by viewing this in a heat map form. Extreme events such as a large amount of closing positions are more easily noticeable within the chart. In the video, I'll walk through how to read this application and what it could be used for. I want to start off by saying that this is not financial advice. Everything that Thing that I say and show in this video is for educational purposes only. Okay, So to get started on the graph that you see on my screen, we are looking at a heat map of the open interest positions. Each area on the chart is represented by a different color. On the right, we have a legend to explain this color scale. Each color represents a range of values that go from extreme positive to extreme negative. Okay. If we look at the, uh, the graph, there's a few lines that pretty easily stick out. One is the yellow line right around this area over here. From the scale, we know that yellow represents highly positive values. So we know that at this price, the open interest increased by a large amount. We know that that happens right around this area over here when the color changes from green to yellow. So we know that a large amount of positions uh, entered at this price range at this area. If we take our cursor and hover over the line, we see two boxes. One is the green box, which is our open, high, low, and close of that candlestick. And the second is a black box, which tells us our date, time, the price, as well as the open interest at that time. Similarly, we have another um, extreme value at the top here. We can see a dark blue uh, line. Uh, from the scale, we know dark blue represents highly negative values. So we know that there was a sharp decrease in open interest at, at around this point right here where the color changed from green to blue. So the next thing I want to go over is the settings that we have at the top. So starting from the left, uh, we have the ability to change the exchange, the ticker, and the look back period for the graph. Um, on the right, we have select color gradient. So here we have various options of different color scales that you can change the graph to make it more legible for you. Uh, next, we have select heat map type. So uh, we support multiple different indicators. Right now we're looking at open interest, which tells you how many positions were opened or closed. We also have net longs and net shorts, which are proprietary indicators built in house. This shows how many longs were entered or closed at different times. And net shorts will tell you how many shorts were entered or exited um, at specific times. So we can take a look at an example of changing the chart. So for the heat map type, we can switch to net longs. For color gradient, we can change to jet and we can hit run. So we can see the chart has updated. We're now looking at the net long positions and the color scale uh, looks drastically different. Okay. Uh, the last thing I want to cover, cover is a couple ways that traders will uh, use this tool. So the first way is they'll use these extreme lines as support or resistance lines. Okay. And then the second is um, you can get a better idea of how certain positions are performing. So for example, if a lot of longs have entered uh, and the price goes down, we can make the assumption that some of those longs are now trapped. So for example, we can see that in the graph here. We see that there's a um, red line right around here and then even darker red line that formed right above here. From the color scale, we know that this means that a large amount of long positions have entered. Okay, uh, For a short period of time, there was an opportunity for the longs to exit at a profit. But if they had waited till after, we know that there was a large period where the price continued to go down um, and that they were at um, a loss. Um, if we see a large amount of positions suddenly exit, we can assume that uh, because of that movement, there was a stop hunt um, or those longs possibly got liquidated. And vice versa, uh, if 
we see a large amount of shorts that entered and price goes up, we know that there could be possibly a short squeeze. Okay. So those are just some examples of ways that traders use this tool for their strategies. Um, this is what I wanted to kind of go over for the net position heat map tool. Um, I hope that this was helpful. Uh, if you need more information, please visit our academy page uh, where you can get more details on this application. Thanks again for your time and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.